Okay, last digestion. We're going to talk about nucleic acid digestion. Uh, nucleic acids may sound a little funky, but if you think about it, Na, you've heard before in the form of DNA and RNA. So we eat cells from living organisms. And uh, when we eat those, they have uh, nuclei in them, and uh, we eat the nucleus as well. And then we take in the chromosomes, and in those chromosomes we have DNA, and there's RNA that's being used to transfer information to the ribosomes to make certain enzymes and proteins. So we need to be able to break down that DNA and RNA so that we can use it to our advantage. So when we do that, we ingest the DNA and RNA here, and nothing happens with this chemical digestion until we get down to the duodenum. And in the pancreas, the pancreas has two enzymes that it releases. It releases ribonuclease, and deoxyribonuclease. And uh, that begins the breakdown process of RNA and DNA. And so now we have, let's do it this way. So now we have start of that breaking down and then in the brush border, we have brush border enzymes. And I am not going to be specific about these at all. That continue the breakdown process. And the monomers that we're going to end up with, these monomers that we're going to end up with here, are going to include um, pentose, which is a five carbon sugar. Phosphates. And nitrogen bases. And then we can use these to either build up new DNA and RNA or we can use them in other metabolic processes. These are going to be absorbed, so these three components of DNA and RNA are going to be absorbed, let's move that up a little for you to see, are going to be absorbed into the digestive capillary beds. by, and here's the big difference, we haven't talked about this before, active transport. Okay, it means it's going to take work, but it's going to move it out of the intestines and into those digestive capillary beds. All right, so we've gone through these four different chemical digestive processes. The last thing that I want you to do is I want you to print out the uh, chemical digestion worksheet that's on Blackboard. Uh, it will look like this, okay? And uh, you're going to work through this information. So let me, let me show you what I want you to do, kind of explain the process. This carbohydrate one that you're seeing on the screen now is uh, also found on Blackboard. So when you print it out, it'll be there for you. So you don't, you don't have to do the carbohydrate one. It's already done for you. So you're going to take a look at that and give me just a second to kind of move this paper around so that you can see it. If I do that, I think you can see what's going on there. I'm trying to make it good. Okay. So underneath the nutrients, you're going to put the nutrients that are broken down. So you'll see starch, 
into oligosaccharides, oligosaccharides into disaccharides. Okay, the three disaccharides are lactose, maltose, and sucrose. And then those disaccharides are broken down into monosaccharides, uh, galactose, glucose, and fructose. And uh, what I was trying to show you on there was that lactose is, is a disaccharide. It's made up of two monosaccharides, galactose and glucose. Uh, uh, maltose is made up of two glucose molecules. Sucrose is made up of a glucose and a fructose. For the exam, you don't need to worry about that. I just wanted to show you that that's what it is. And then in the, in the purple, the next thing that I showed you is that salivary amylase uh, and pancreatic amylase are the enzymes that break starch down into smaller, the oligosaccharides, and then the oligosaccharides is what breaks down the oligosaccharides into disaccharides, and then lactase, sucrase, and maltase uh, break the uh, disaccharides down into monosaccharides. And the following two columns, um, I wanted you to put where digestion occurred. So with salivary amylase, it occurred in the mouth. With pancreatic amylase, it occurred in the small intestine. And with the lactase, sucrase, and maltase, it occurred in the small intestine as well. You should be able to fill this chart out looking at your illustrations for protein chemical digestion, for the nucleic acid chemical digestion, and for the lipid uh, digestion. If you, and uh, then that sheet should be brought to class on April 1st so that it can be graded. It's worth 10 points. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Put them on the discussion board on Blackboard. Hope you have a great spring break. See you later.